K-Drives will become available to players once they complete the introduction quest in Fortuna titled Vox Solaris. At the end of the quest you will receive the Bondi K-Drive and the K-Drive Launcher, which you will need to place into your gear wheel before use. The Bondi K-Drive has no mastery point value and cannot be customised or modded, but the player can still use it to gain K-Drive Syndicate standing, which I'll cover now. The K-Drive Syndicate is called the Vent Kids, and they can be found at the center of Fortuna on the second floor. As shown on screen, you'll need to interact with the Vent, and you'll enter the Vent hideout. Interact with the Vendor Rocky, and the Vendor screen will show up. There are multiple sub-menus. Vent Kid Standing will show your current rank and standing with the Syndicate, with the amount of standing you have left to acquire for that day, and the Offering screen shown as well. Offerings is the standing storefront for everything K drives. Everything here can be purchased with your acquired Vent Kid standing, and with the exception of the Vent Kid Clubhouse Capture Scene and Mods, all items will be blueprints upon purchase that you'll need to craft in your foundry. The Offering store sells K drive parts, which you'll need to buy to make your first K drive. It shall also be noted that the parts sold are only cosmetic and offer no alternative stats as of recording. However, each board has mastery tied to it, as shown on screen in your profile, so if you want to max out your mastery, you'll have to, at some point, make more K drives using each board. They also sell mods and operator cosmetics. Just like with the other syndicates in the game, most of these items shown are locked behind higher Vent Kid ranks, so you will need to climb up ranks by saving your standing and going through the rank up process to reach the rank cap. In regards to the cap at max rank, you can stockpile up to 132,000 standing. Assemble K Drive. This will be where you go if you have bought parts from the previous mentioned offering store and then built those parts in your foundry. Once built, you can come to this screen and select the parts and then construct your K Drive. There are four parts that you will need to complete the build the board, reactor, nose, and jet. You can preview parts that you do not own in this screen. So if you want to check out the visuals of a combo before investment and creation, that is available. Once you have the parts, select them in your screen and select finalize. The daily special will be the platinum store for K-Drives. Each day a new K-Drive will appear and will be sold for platinum. If bought, you can name this board. The other services tab at the moment of recording only has entitle, which can be used to rename one of your existing K-Drives, but at the cost of platinum. The last tab and it's simply trade medallions for vent kid standing. As for how to acquire standing and level up your K drive, you currently have two methods. Option 1 requires the players to execute tricks and combos. The most important information to share in regards to combos is that the combo chain cap has been set to 3000, so you cannot exceed that cap when playing. This means you want to hit enough tricks and combos to have the multiplier bring you to 3000. The best way of thinking about it is getting a 10 times multiplier and a 300 combo point chain. If you hit the 3000 point combo chain, it will grant you 750 vent kids standing, but only if you don't break the combo by hitting an object or falling off the board. So just cash it in by not performing tricks after you've hit 3000. 25% of the K drive affinity you earn while executing tricks will also be converted into vent kids standing. As for how to perform tricks, it really depends on your platform. On screen is a list provided by the Warframe Wiki that provides each of the keybinds and trick information for console players, but since I'm on PC, I'll quickly share the tricks and movements available and how to execute them on PC. The W key will move you forward, while the S key will put you in reverse. The player's mouse is used for turning. A and D are used for strafing left or right. The shift key is your boost, and jumping is tied to spacebar. Players can also hold down the spacebar for higher jumps. You can grind on objects by holding control before landing on them, and jumps can be tied to grinding for extra points. You can execute copters in the air by pressing spacebar and either W, A, S, or D. You can execute plankers by pressing the right mouse button in the air. W and right mouse button will perform a nose planker. S and the right mouse button will perform a tail planker. Using the right mouse button while in the air while holding A will perform a backside rollout, and holding D instead will perform a frontside rollout. You can grab the board by holding the left mouse button in the air or while grinding, and holding W while grabbing will execute a nose clutch, holding S while grabbing will execute a tail clutch, holding A while grabbing will execute a frontside clutch, 
and holding D will get you a backside clutch. You can also perform grabbing rollouts and plankers. Holding the left mouse button while holding W and using spacebar in the air will execute a nose spinger. Holding S in the same formation will perform a tail spinger. Holding A in the same formation will perform a backside spinger. And holding D in the same formation will perform a frontside spinger. If you hold your left and right mouse button while holding W, you will perform a nose clutch planker. Holding S will perform a tail clutch planker, holding A will perform a backside clutch planker, and holding D in the same formation will perform a frontside planker. Lastly, in regards to tricks, hitting the purple glyphs around the Valus will grant a multiplier for standing gain during the current combo chain. When executing your tricks, make sure you aren't just using the same trick over and over, as they will be classed as copy cavat, and you won't see a significant combo chain increase. The ideal location to increase your vent kid's standing via tricks is being shown on screen, and it is located just behind the Fortuna elevator on the pipes. Just go up and down doing various tricks and whatnot, rinsing and repeating until you've maxed out your daily cap. For low mastery ranked players, this will be pretty quick. For high mastery ranked players, due to the way daily standing is affected by mastery rank, it may take you a while. At high event kids standing ranks, the mods available will help increase your combo chains, K-Drive speed, jump heights, and more, so do keep that in mind if you're specifically getting everything for K-Drives done. As for option 2, you can partake in races that will appear on the Orb Valus, although starting a race will require a small amount of standing to do so. Each gate within a race will increase the wager by 5 standing, but if you win, you'll get 200 standing back per gate crossed. For each gate crossed, you'll earn 500k drive affinity and get 5 seconds added to the race clock. Finishing the race will also grant you 2500k drive affinity. The chart on screen displays each race's gate, standing reward, and the amount of k drive affinity you'll earn upon going through each gate and completing the race. In total, there are 22 races on this landscape, but only 5 of them will appear per day, and those 5 will be random. An image on screen displays the location of each of the races in the game, but when you're in-game, you can check the active races by opening your map. The purple K-Drive icons indicate said active races, so head to one of those icons and you will see Boone, the K-Drive race starter. Interact with him and the first checkpoint will appear. As soon as you go through that checkpoint, the race will start. A few things to note about races, you don't have to go through each gate, but as mentioned previously, gates get you affinity and standing. Each race can also be repeated even if the player had completed it already for the day, and you can use this to continue to earn standing until you reach your daily standing cap, and you can repeat them to level your K-Drives. I have a complete compilation video up on the channel with a card on screen taking you to it that compiles all the races for the game and the path to complete them. So if you want to know the races before you do them, check out that video. It also provides a little guide on how to get the achievement for completing each race. Now with that information provided, and once you have acquired your own K-Drive, you can customize it. To do this, head to your arsenal, click the Arcwing and K-Drive icon, hover over your K-Drive, and from there you have three options. Clicking Equipped will open up your K-Drive menu, so if you wish to swap to another K-Drive, you can do so there. Selecting Upgrade will open the mod screen where you can place any acquired mods and equipped an Oricon Reactor. Also, once you reach level 30, you can polarize a slot, aka former it, and equip a focus lens, although that's up to you if you want to do that. For each level your K-Drive gains, you'll earn 200 mastery points for a total of 6,000 mastery points per board. And lastly, you have Customize. Here, you will be able to change the colors of your K-Drive. You'll be able to change the primary, secondary, tertiary accents and emissives, as well as its energy. This screen also allows you to equip a K-Drive scroll to the bottom of your K-Drive and adjust its width, height, and offsets. K-Drive scrolls can be acquired via the market through packs, and at the moment of recording, there are four packs, with each containing four scrolls. These packs cost 125 Platinum each. DE has also added scrolls to Nightwave series as well as promotions from Twitch drops and anniversary events. Thanks for watching, hopefully I helped, and I'll see you guys next time.